Hello everyone, uh, this is uh, going to be a quick tutorial. Um, this is mainly to help out our sign language interpreters how to uh, translate videos for students. Uh, so first things first, what you're going to do is I recommend downloading or you should download OBS Studio. You could either go to the website obsproject.com or simply Google OBS Studio. Click on Windows or whichever machine you are using and then install it. Once it is installed, go ahead and launch it. So over here in the bottom I have it. I'm going to launch a blank one. Okay, so now you see a blank one here. So um, this is a free software. It is open source. Um, and it is very customizable. So if you figure out how to use it to its full potential, uh, it's a pretty cool software. So first things first that we're going to do is, uh, well, I'm going to use this video as an example. I just Googled the rand uh, YouTube, I went on YouTube, searched a random video, American River College lecture, and got this. So we're going to use this as an example. Uh, let's go here. So now we're going to add this screen, this Google Chrome screen. You could add, do the whole desktop if you want, but then if you do the whole desktop, it means you're going to see this screen as well, the OBS screen on your recording. So we're going to have just this window, Google Chrome window that has the video on it. So here where you see sources, uh, oh, actually it might ask you to create a new scene. Just add a new scene, name it, whatever you want. It's sort of like a profile. Uh, so on the scenes, and we're going to right click here, add, and we're going to add a window capture because that is where our video is. If you have a video file, you select that for the window. Uh, so, we, so you see Chrome.exe, that is Google Chrome, and we have the video open on Chrome. So we're going to click on that, press OK. Okay, so now we have that in the area. Next thing, while the video is running, you will want to be interpreting. So we need your, your video as well, your webcam on. Right click again over here, add. Uh, we're going to go video capture device. You could name it webcam. So just you know that it's a webcam. And then my default one's already selected and you already see my face over here. So we could move this. Uh, you could rearrange it. Have it in the middle, have it side by side, however you, however you want it. All right, so now, now what you could do is um, you click start recording it's going to start recording the video. What I usually do, I have a hotkey. So that way I could minimize this and I could start recording without the OBS screen over the video. Uh, so let me show you how to set that up. So instead of pressing the start record, we're going to set up a hotkey. Settings, you go to hotkeys, and here are my two hotkeys. Start recording is Control L plus the symbol by number one on top. And the stop recording is Control L plus one on top. Um, all right, so st let's start recording. So now this is being recorded. Just play the video. All right. Can move this out of the way. So the cool thing about capturing window is you could work on your OBS window while recording and it will not get in the way of your video because the video is only recording the um, your webcam and that Chrome window. So right now you could do your thing and... All right, so let me stop the recording here. Okay, let me stop the video. And now let's go see, um, 
Let's go to my videos to see how it came out. By default, it might, it's probably going to go to your videos, but the, uh, the video. So let's see. Uh, I think this one's it right here. Let's make it smaller. Yeah, so here it is. You could have it like this. Or if you want, you could just maximize the screen so you don't see the whole YouTube stuff over here in the bottom and then resize your photo. You could resize the screen and you could resize the photo. So you could resize everything. Let me show you an example of that. I actually just thought of that. For example, you are recording the, uh, you are recording the Chrome window. So you could resize this and you could resize this. So you could resize everything. So everything is resizable. All right. So I hope this video helped you guys. Um, yeah. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me.